Eleven years ago, I was a stranger who gate crashed your 18th birthday. And I remember standing behind the huge crowd, staring at you while you were entering your guests. Your party was star-studded, filled with celebrities. As I looked at you, my world seemed to stop. And I remember thinking how beautiful you are. Finally, here we are. Closing a page and now starting a new chapter. We've been through many trials. And can you believe, by the grace of God, we survived. And we're here at this very moment, honoring Him, making Him happy and proud, obeying His command. Marriage is a personal commitment, more than it is a contract. It's also a process that you will live out beginning today. In Genesis 2.24, it says, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother, be united to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. At that very moment, reality struck. I thought to myself, I'm just a nobody from the province who used to swim in the log pond of Marta Drive. There's no way I can end up with a celebrity. Since Atalia came, I've been telling myself that you are God's gift to me. I didn't know what I wanted that time. And you just came, rescued me from the pain of the past. So we're here in Hillsbridge Hotel, so waiting the Empress and Vino. So it's your gown, the Empress. Yeah. And then, simply, yung kay Atalia. Baby have a job. Four years after, he gave us another chance to meet, this time more appropriately. I officially met you at the restaurant in Makati. After the dinner, our friend offered me to drop you home. Because I wanted to impress you, I said yes. It will change your relationship because later on you will go to one direction and in this place this afternoon you will receive the title of husband and wife. 
Finally, I found my place, my contentment, my peace. Through you, God showed me that I can be taken care of, that I can be loved, I can be heard and understood for all the struggles and sacrifices I went through in life. Our love story did not begin perfectly and we faced a big responsibility early in our lives due to our own miscalculated actions. When I lost my father, you never left me and were there to comfort me. I thank God because through these challenges, we both grew, we got to know each other better, we learned from each other and more importantly, we both found Christ and deepened our relationship with Him. Thank you for inspiring me, the best version of myself. Thank you for accepting me for who I am. I'm honored because you are humble and down to earth. Ikaw pala. Ikaw pala yung finish line. Ikaw yung happy ending. Ikaw yung reward. Nasimula noon, everything made sense. Of course, there were still hardships, but this time, my kasama na ako. I vow to spend the rest of my life with you in good times and in bad times. I vow to put God first at the center of our relationship, be patient and respect you and care for you as long as we both shall live. I love you and to God be the glory. Thank you for, for all the big efforts that you've done for me and Italia. I'm so proud of the man you have become, especially the day that we agreed to stay away from the temptation of lust and keep our, pu keep our purity till our wedding day. God's grace, I promise to share my life with you in all faith and gentleness, through joy and sorrow, in abundance and lack, in well-being and poor health, till death do us part.